Good morning, students. Welcome to the chemistry class. For this session, we are going to see the topic potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. Molecular formula K M N O four. K M N O four. Molecular formula potassium permanganate. Okay. First topic preparation. It is prepared from the important that is boar. Okay, boar. Pyrolusite. Pyro. Lucite. Pyrolusite molecular formula M N O two. Okay, so now see the reaction M N O two. That is pyrolusite O react with the potassium hydroxide in the presence of air catalyst. Or oxidizing agent KNO3 or KClO3 to use K2MnO4 plus H2O water molecule. Now balance the reaction. Okay, MnO2 pyrolusite O or manganese dioxide, potassium hydroxide, oxygen. K2MnO4. The compound name is potassium. Potassium manganate. Potassium manganate. K M N O four permanganate. K two M N O four manganate. Okay. So now balance the equation. The potassium two. So this one multiplied with the two. So next balance the oxygen. Here two. Here four six. So six oxygen. Here four plus one five. It is not balanced. So it's now going to balance this reaction. So this one multiplied with the four. Okay. So four means here two. Two two sir four. Now M N that is two. So multiplied with the two. Okay. So what about the hydrogen here four? So two H two O. Okay. So now once again checking. So M N two times potassium four two two sir four. Next is hydrogen four, two two sir four. Oxygen two two sir four. Next is four plus two. So totally ten oxygen in the reactant side. So what about the product four two sir eight eight plus two ten. Okay. So both also reactant as well as product it is balanced. Okay. So this is the first step, children. So now M N O two converted into K two M N O four. So next step. K two M N O four converted into K M N O four. Okay, here that is uh, it uh, involves two steps. Steps number one chemical oxidation. Step number two electrolytic oxidation. Okay, so it involves the two steps. Now K two M N O four converted into K M N O four. So second step that is we are going to see the conversion. Okay. So conversion of conversion of K two M N O four gives K M N O four. Okay. Here it involves for this preparation it involves that is the two process process number one chemical oxidation. Okay, chemical oxidation process number two, electrolytic, electrolytic oxidation. Two the steps. So in chemical oxidation with the boson, it converted into K one O four. Here two steps. Okay. So next one, it reacts with the chlorine. Okay, children. So now we are going to see. That is a chemical oxidation method. So in chemical oxidation method, chemical oxidation method, oxidation oxidation method. 
So now K2 MnO4. Here want to write in ionic formation. So this K2 MnO4 split into K plus and MnO4 minus. Here potassium 2. So 2K plus. So 2 minus. So how much cation? The same amount of anion it is produced. Okay. So MnO4 2 minus. So write the reaction MnO4. 2 minus. It react with ozone with water H2O. So to gives the product. So now MnO4 2 minus. Now it converted into MnO4 minus. So MnO4 2 minus means manganate ion. MnO4 minus means permanganate ion. So now ozone converted into oxygen. So, water molecule converted into OH minus. Okay. So, now balance the reaction M1. So, oxygen 4. 4 plus 3 7. 7 plus 1 8. Here 4 plus 2 6. Hydrogen 2. So, 8. Hydrogen also it is balanced. Now, want to see the charges here. 2 minus. Here minus. So, so totally in the product side 3 minus. But in the reactant side 2 minus children remember. So you must balance the charges also. Okay. So here multiplied with the 2. Now 2 2 is 4. So this one also it is multiplied with the 2. So 2 minus plus 2 minus that is 4 minus. Okay children. So next chemical that is oxidation method that is chlorine. Okay. So now Mn. Okay, second method this is the first method. So, MnO4 2 minus it react with the chlorine molecule to gives. Okay, so MnO4 minus. Next, chlorine it converted into chloride ion. Okay, here two times. So, two. Now, the elements are balanced, but the charges, it is not balanced. See here, here 2 plus 1, 3 minus, here only 2 minus. So, it is multiplied with the 2. So, 2, 2 is 4. Okay. So, here it is multiplied with the 2. So, 2 plus 2 is so 4 minus. Okay, children. So, next, we are going to see the next method. That is, uh, electrolytic oxidation method. So, in electrolytic oxidation method, electrolyte is that is manganate ion and with little that is small amount of that is alkali. So, now to give the product. So, now see what is the product. Okay. So, now the second method electrolytic, electrolytic oxidation method. Electrolytic oxidation method. Here electrolyte is that is K2MnO4. Okay. So K2MnO4. So add the little amount of alkali. So it exists in equilibrium reaction. So what about the product? K plus. Here 2 times. So 2K plus. Plus MnO4. 2 minus. Okay. So now this MnO4 2 minus is that is the green color. Okay, potassium that is the potassium that is the magnet it is green color. Okay, so next that is water molecule to use this also it exists in equilibrium reaction. So H plus and OH minus. Okay, so now at anode. Okay, so this one electrolytic process. So we know the concept that is uh, introduce the cathode and the anode. So pass the electric electric current. So now the ions that is move in the respective. Okay, so now here that is at anode. This MnO4 two minus. Okay, so to use now this MnO4 two minus. What about the color? That is green color. Okay, so to use m n o 4 minus okay so now this one purple color so mention the color also so now the element are balanced but the charges it is not balanced here 2 minus here that is so only 1 minus so 
plus 1 electron minus sun. Okay. So, at cathode, okay. So, now this H plus as well as this electron. So, H plus plus the electron to use H2. Okay. So, this symbol evaporated. So, hydrogen 2. So, 2 H plus and plus 2 electron minus sun. So, this is the preparation of, that is the potassium permanganate. So, MnO4 minus. So, it is concentrated by evaporation method. Okay. So, and again, it involved cooling. Now, this purple color of potassium permanganate in crystal form, it is obtained. That also we must mention. And another one in electrolytic oxidation. So, add the small amount of alkali. That also to mention in the Test paper. Okay, children. So, next one at the end, the crystal that is it is obtained by that is evaporation. So, next one that is concentrated by evaporation. So, next one cooling process. Now, the it converted into crystals of crystal of that is the purple color of potassium permanganate is obtained. This is the preparation, children. Okay. So, once again, it, that is a uh, KMnO4, it is prepared from MnO2. Okay, MnO2 converted into K2MnO4. K2MnO4 converted into KMnO4. So, here write MnO2 to use K2MnO4. Step 2, K2MnO4 converted into KMnO4. This is the concept. Okay, children. So, now... See the physical properties. So, physical properties mean talk about melting point, boiling point, solubility, etc. So, here also that is discussing first color. This is a dark purple crystal. Okay. Next one, melting point that is 513 Kelvin. 513 Kelvin. Okay. So, now physical properties. Physical properties. Properties. So, first one that is color. So, next one that is melting point. Melt at 513 Kelvin. Next one talk about the solubility in water. Okay. So, so solubility means that is in water. That is how to condition one is cold water. And another one is hot water. Okay. So, cold water and hot water. So, in hot water, it is immediately that is soluble. So, completely soluble. But in cold water, that is less amount. It is sparingly soluble. Sparingly soluble. Here, completely or fairly that is soluble in water. Okay. So, condition hot and cold. Okay. This is the physical properties. Next, we are going to see the structure of that is permanganate ion. Next topic, structure. Structure of permanganate. What is the formula? MnO4 minus permanganate ion. Okay. First here, find out the oxidation state. So, how did you calculate the oxidation state? This one consider as X. Okay. So, next 4 oxygen. So, 4 into per oxygen minus 2. So, next one this minus 1. Okay. So, X minus 8 equal to minus 1. X is equal to plus 8 minus 1. So, plus 7. So, what about the oxidation state? That is plus 7. Okay. So, plus 7 means manganese it is surrounded with 7 bond okay that is denoted as so m n okay what about this oxygen oxidation state that is 2 so oxygen it is surrounded with 2 bond okay so now m n it is surrounded with 7 bond so 2 4 6 next to 1 7th Okay, but at the same time, oxygen it is on the how many bond? Two bond, but here only one bond. So here put the negative charges. Okay, so now just that is to connect everything. Now it look like the structure. It look like that is the tetrahedral. 
okay so tetra what is the german tree tetra hedral german tree what about the oxidation state that is plus 7 okay children okay so now this that is the charges now enter inside so automatically this bond is shifted out so what about the structure that that means it denoted it involved in the resonance concept okay we know the resonance concept so resonance mean is nothing but the elements are same on any account it is not changes only change the position of that is the electron okay so now mn this one here double bond here single bond okay so next double bond and the double bond what, what about the next step if this one enter inside this electron is comes out so write the structure again so mn here double bond here also double bond here double bond here single bond okay so what about the next step again this one enter inside this electron it is comes out Try, write the structure so m n double bond o double bond o now here single bond here that is the double bond okay so this is the resonance structure okay children so due to this resonance okay so now write the final structure so final structure is m n okay so oxygen 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 and oxygen so next one that is dotted electron here that is skipped dot okay same way for here also dot dot so dot next to overall only one negative charge so close it and write the negative charge at the top okay so this is the structure way to write so this dotted that is line indicate that is delocalized pi electron okay here double bond so we know the concept single bond mean first that is the sigma bond okay sigma bond sigma bond sigma bond next bond is pi bond this one pi bond same way for this one sigma bond next one is pi bond so delocalized pi electron so now this dotted line it is obtained okay so next one let us talk about the hybridization this one sp3 hybridization okay children so how that is uh, calculate this sp3 hybridization mean the concept is very simple now i am going to explain but the textbook it is not given okay so now this uh, hybridization calculation we must know if uh, that is do the calculation means we know the that is the outer valence electron okay so here two type of element is present one is oxygen and another one is mn so first we know the outer valence electron for example oxygen atomic number 8 okay write like the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 so this is the outer valence electron so 4 plus 2 6 so 6 okay so now mn that is atomic number 25 so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 so it is the lengthy process for now that is we follow the tricks and shortcut method okay so easy way to find out the outer valence electron mean now we know the periodic table the arrangements of elements we must know for example that is boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine next one noble gas neon okay here helium so this one number 18 17 16 6 this number that is the outer valence electron this is a tricks children okay so now to follow this trick okay so now oxygen that is 6 so outer valence electron oxygen outer valence electron is 6 same way now to find out the manganese mn okay so now we know the series first so study the elements periodic table you must study thoroughly so now i am writing this series scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper and zinc okay so now this one that is the 
period number okay so not period number group number this one third this one fourth fifth sixth this one seventh so this is the outer valence electron okay children so now so seven mn formula mn o4 minus so now mn outer valence electron that is seven oxygen outer valence electron six so four six are twenty four okay twenty four this one minus so plus so twenty five so twenty five plus seven thirty two this is the total valence electron in the compound so it is divided by 8 this is the rule children so the total valence electron up to 8 mean it is divided by 2 so total valence electron that is 9 to 56 mean it is divided by 8 this is the concept okay children so divided by 8 so now 4 8s are 32 so sp3 hybridization 3 plus 1 4 sp3 hybridization okay children so now recall the structure it is a tetrahedral plus 7 oxidation state geometry sp3 so mn it is surrounded with 7 bond oxygen it is surrounded with 2 bond so this dotted line indicate delocalized pi electrons and next one this bond length that is equal okay now that is a bond length within this 1 2 3 4 the bond length are that is the equal okay children so next one that is the chemical properties of potassium permanganate number one action of heat okay it is a decomposition reaction also so chemical properties chemical properties first chemical properties action of heat action of heat okay so now it is also called as it is a decomposition reaction decomposition reaction okay decomposition reaction so now k m n o 4 potassium permanganate heating heat reaction so put a triangle symbol now to use k 2 m n o 4 okay so next mn2 o7 m n okay k2 mn o4 next one sorry mn o2 plus o2 okay so now kmn o4 potassium permanganate this one potassium manganate manganese dioxide plus oxygen now balance the reaction here potassium 2 so multiplied with the 2 4 2 are 8 oxygen here 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 mn2 1 plus 1 it is balanced okay so next chemical properties that is the action of concentrated sulfuric acid okay here the two conditions number one cold as well as hot so action of action of concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 so potassium permanganate KMnO4 it react with H2SO4 sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid condition hot so now to use what about the product children so KSO4 next Mn SO4 next H2O next to O2 only okay so now write the product so K2 SO4 plus Mn SO4 next product H2 and O water molecule so next one oxygen so four product is obtained okay children KMnO4 now condition so now balance the reaction here potassium 2 so multiplied with the 2 okay so now mn2 mn multiplied with the 2 next okay next check that that is the oxygen here 4 to 8 here 8 sorry 4 to 8 plus 4 totally 12 here 4 4 to 8 so 12 13 14 15 it is not balanced oxygen it is not balanced okay children so now this one it is multiplied with that is 4 so now here 2 
okay so now m and 4 so 4 now see the so4 here so4 4 plus 2 6 so it is multiplied with the 6 now hydrogen 6 2 is 12 6 2 is 12 okay children so now check the oxygen here 4 4 is 16 6 4 is 24 so 20 30 that is the 40 oxygen in the reactant side in the product side 4 2 is 8 4 4 is 16 okay so next 6 next plus 2 so totally 6 plus 2 8 okay so next 10 14 24 24 28 32 okay 32 oxygen it is not balanced okay children so now here 5 2 is 10 so now 5 2 is 10 here so what about this so 10 sorry 8 plus 40 it is balanced okay so now see the condition hot concentrated sulfuric acid to use potassium sulfate manganese sulfate water molecule and oxygen okay so next one that is right that is cold condition okay cold cold what about the product so what about the product mean now it gives mn2 o7 mn 2O7 manganese kept okay 7 kept oxide plus KHSO4 potassium okay KHSO4 potassium bisulfate or potassium hydrogen sulfate so next hydrogen and oxygen water molecule so now here KMNO4, H2SO4, KHSO4. Ah, okay. Now MN1, here MN2 multiplied with the 2. Now potassium, that is 2. Okay. Hydrogen, next here SO4. Okay. Here SO4, yes. Okay. Here 2, so 2. Now what about the hydrogen? 2, 2 is 4. So 2 plus 2. Okay. Now check all the elements. First check the oxygen. 4, 2 is potassium, MN, it is balanced. Okay. 4, 2 is 8. Here 4, 2, 8. So totally 16 oxygen in the reactant. Product 7. Okay. So 7 plus 1, 8. Next 4, 2, 8. So 8 plus 8. That is 16. It is balanced. Okay, children. So now this Mn2 O7 manganese heptoxide. It is explosive nature. Again it decomposed. That is Mn2 O7 decomposed to use MnO2 plus oxygen. Okay. MnO2 plus oxygen. Now balance the reaction. Mn2. So multiplied with the 2. Next oxygen 7. So 2 to 4. 4 plus 2. 6. Oxygen it is not balanced. So now it multiplied with the 2. Now manganese 2 to 4. So here write that is 4. Okay. Oxygen 7 to 14. Now 4 to 8. Here 14. Okay. So remaining how many we need? That is 6. So 3 to 6. 6 means 8. 8 plus 6. Okay. That is 14. Okay, children. Now it is balanced. So now we that is see the topic chemical properties. One is action of heat and another one is action of concentrated sulfuric acid. Here that is the two condition. One is hot and another one is cold okay so this very important reaction prepare well okay thank you children